Alright, so this is going to be intro to exponents, and what they are, and how you, how you manipulate them. So far, um, you've learned a couple basic things about shortening math problems. The most basic is, when you have variables, and let's say you had x plus x plus x. Okay, we learned that you can shorten that. That's x plus x plus x. That's basically three x's. We can shorten that whole statement to say that's the, exactly the same as 3 times x. If you don't believe me, that's, let's pretend it was a number, um, like 6. 6 plus 6 plus 6, isn't that the same as 3 sixes? 3 times 6, which is the same as 18. You can shorten addition by multiplying it by how many times you're repeating it. 3 6 is 3 times 6. Exponents is another shortcut, but instead of using addition and shortening addition, exponents shorten multiplication. So let's say instead we had x times x times x. So the short way of saying this, if you have three x's multiplying each other, this is the same as saying x to the power of three. This x is being multiplied by itself three times. The exponent is just a short way of saying this guy multiplies itself three times. When the number's in front, it's like saying this number adds three times. I can do it with a number two. Let's pick a smaller number. Two times two times two. If I want to shorten that, I would use an exponent. This is the same as 2 to the power of 3. This exponent just says, take this 2, multiply it by itself 3 times. And 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 would be 8. Now we can use this to, we can expand upon this and use it to simplify other exponents. What if I took my twos example? What if I had two to the power of three and it was multiplying another two to the power of two? Could I shorten that? Let's just think. Two to the power of three is two times two times two. And I'm gonna multiply that by another two twos, two times two. Well, how many twos are multiplying each other? So one, two, three, four, five twos. So this is the same as saying two multiplied by itself five times. You can do the same with the x's. So what do we have? Say x to the two times another x to the two. What is this going to equal? Again, I can break it up. x to the power of 2 is x times x. And that's going to multiply another x times x. x times x times x times x. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 x's multiplying each other. x to the power of 4. And some of you might have seen there might be a shortcut looking at these, x to the 2 times x to the 2, or 2 to the 3 times 2 to the power of 2, is there a short way I could have gotten x to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 5? In fact, there is. The shortcut here is when multiplying common bases, you can just add the exponents. It's like saying 2x's times another 2x's would make 4x's times each other. 3 2's times another 2 2's would be 5 2's multiplying each other. If you can get to think of exponents as just repeated multiplication, then you can start thinking of these as a certain number of 2's and another certain number of 2's makes 5 2's, 4 2's, and so on. This is the basic intro to exponents.